I'm gonna do what I hope will be a quick haul. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff from Dollar Tree that I need to get put away, but I'm really excited and I need to share it with someone first. Um, I have a few things from Five Below and then a couple of things that I ordered from Amazon. So, um, the first thing I'm gonna start with is food at Dollar Tree. These Nature Valley granola bars. I only found almond butter and peanut butter. Um, I don't know if they're there because the boxes are different sizes because, I don't know, now they're all lining up. Maybe I didn't, maybe I put the other ones in my mom's cart. Anyway, um, I think some of the boxes might have been different sizes. That's what's wrong with them. So five of these for a dollar, um, I think is a pretty good deal. I only tried the almond butter ones, but there's chocolate on them. So like, how do you go wrong with that? Then, um, these... I got last time I went and I just tried them to make sure that I liked them before I got more and shared about them. Um, so these are exactly like the Thin Mints from the Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> um, I eat mine out of the freezer though, so like I haven't tried it not frozen, but I love them frozen. They taste exactly the same. So like I said, I haven't tried them, you know, just at room temperature. Maybe they're completely different that way, but frozen. It's a perfect dupe. Then I got these Nature Valley um, granola mixtures, I guess. Um, just peanut butter and almond butter, but like for a dollar. Yes, please. Sign me up. Then um, I saw somebody else haul some of these, but I didn't see them haul a dinosaur one. So I was really excited that my store just had a dinosaur one there waiting for me. It's so perfect for our life. <laughs> um, so you just, you know, it comes with the paintbrush and then the paint's already in there. So you just use water. And uh, then we got a pirate one too. These difficult dot to dots. Um, okay, this one's only up to like 300, but some of them have even more than that. And I just think, I'm always preparing for the future. People look at me like I'm crazy because, you know, my son, my oldest is only three and we're already like really far into this homeschooling thing, but I feel like it could be a really expensive endeavor. So I'm slowly starting to gather things now so that later it's not like, oh no, we can't do this. Now we just have to send them to public school. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. Anyway, I just think this will be something fun um, for eventually and We'll have plenty of space to store it, so why not? I found this book. Um, let's see. So we're all very different and, you know, it's just like prayers. Things to say to God and help me make friends. Um, you know, I'd like to invite the whole world. So, uh, got any ideas? I don't know, just things that you can talk to God about, which, you know, should basically include everything. Then I got this extreme dot to dot book. Uh, there aren't, let's see, how many pages are there? 15 pages in here. So this one is a bit different than the last one. Like it's not a double sided thing or whatever, but um, I think maybe these go a little bit higher. Yeah, this one goes up to 400 and, oh, never mind. It's over 500. Um, so over 500 like dots that you have to connect. I just think. Eventually, maybe they'll be up for a challenge, and if not, I'll do them. I found these. I didn't actually read the packages. I was just really excited about the whole wall of Crayola things there. And I didn't actually need very many of those things because like a five pack of markers for a dollar, um, I just got Crayola markers, like a 10 pack for a dollar when it was back to school sales, so I didn't need them. Um, but, these are the states and symbols, um, color of the USA, and there are six double-sided maps in here, so I definitely did not need two packages, but we have three boys, so maybe somebody's gonna have a hard time, and we can use them eventually. And then this is the only other Crayola thing that I got. Cha-Cha Cakes found these, and her store left them in the packs of three, like right out of the box, so she got a pack of three for a dollar, and I was really hoping my store would do that too. I thought that you know, maybe they would be packaged that way there as well. Um, it turns out that most stores aren't doing that though. So 
whatever. Good for her. At least she found it and got a good deal. I don't know that this is a bad deal. I mean, it's not that great of a deal though. Anyway, I finally found these scrapbooking kind of papers and craft things. So I got two of the, um, what are they? I don't know, just craft sheets um, with the gold accents on them. So two of each. And then some gold tags. There are 24 in there and they have all different designs on them. I'm just really excited that I finally found these because these were, these have been on my wish list for a very long time. Um, so these are those, got two of those. Here are cards and um, envelopes. There are eight of each in there. And then here's some, here are some triangles for a banner. Those are cute, we can always use those. And then little mini tags. So between my December daily and um, I don't know, all of the other craft things that I'm doing, they'll get used up. And then I also got these too, because I think these will be good for December daily as well. 64 letters in there that I don't have to use my Cricut to cut out. Okay, okay. on to a couple more food items and then we'll get all the way through that. So I was hungry when we were there. That's the only explanation for these. <laughs> and then I got a Cliff Bar to try. I, I'm pretty sure these are way more than a dollar in the store. If not way more, then more than a dollar. So clearly I'm getting it there. Okay, so I was very excited that my store had the pumpkin um, Sure Scents air fresheners. We're gonna put these in the bathroom because I have two boys that are using potty chairs and they don't always tell me when they go in there and pee. So like, I don't want our bathroom to smell like pee. This is my solution. Motherhood is glamorous, right? So anyway, I got the pumpkin ones of these and then I also found that they had spruce in this, but I don't know if this is gonna have a better throw or last longer than this. Like, this is like a powder and these are the gel beads. So I got spruce in one, pumpkin in another, and we're gonna see how that goes. Very excited to find these suction hooks. There are so many things that I can use these for with these children. Um, I'm thinking even just like the doors that we have that are like mostly window. If I hang these up there and give them a string to sort of pull back and forth, whatever, we can figure out something. They're, they're not that difficult to entertain. They're boys, so they'll wreck it, but like they were 50 cents a piece, so oh well. And then I found these cute little poppers. Um, the only com color combinations that I found were orange with pink, so whatever. I don't know anybody with pink eyes or orange for that matter, but they're Halloween. So anyway, it's a four pack and those are fun. I got these four um, activities, I guess, basically. Uh, they're red, so I figured we can use them for counters. Um, we can do some activities at Christmas time with these instead of using those glass beads. I just figured acrylic gems would be a better solution for my small children. Cat toys. <laughs> we do have two barn cats, so um, I'm thinking I'm only going to give them one, and then the two-year-old that loves balls can probably have the other one. I got a three-pack of toothbrushes. They're Batman. Um, the ones that I normally buy and have been buying for quite a few months now are the five packs from Walmart. Five or six come in there. Anyway, they're only 98 cents. So I thought that was a better deal, but they seem to wear out really fast. Like the bristles are like shot all, all over the place. So I'm going to see if these maybe last longer. I doubt they will, but they have Batman. So it was worth a try have some educational kinds of things. Level two reader. Um, I just like to read about animals to the kids because they like hearing about them. And so there's all kinds of stuff. Chimpanzees, gorillas, meerkats, rabbits. They have photos. They have like an interesting fact. They have a little um, blurb on what their, you know, the rabbit's long ears help them hear well, but also they cool them off. Like things like that you know, just fun stuff that it's fun for me to learn too. And then we are actually um, working on the letter I and covering insects this week for homeschool. So it was kind of fun that I found this mini beasts book. And apparently there's a free app that has sound and action. 
that you can use with this, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. It's a nice book. There are quite a few pages in it. Uh, and then at the little, at the back, there's like a little seek and find kind of thing. Um, they have a praying mantis spread. They have a uh, caterpillar. So it's worth a dollar, I would say. I was so excited. My mom found these. Um, we are not to Jonah yet. We can do Jesus anytime. Um, and we have not covered David's story yet for our homeschool either. We did Joseph last week, but I can put this in there for next year when Silas does it, when Silas does our curriculum. Um, and this week we're working on Moses. So here's a sticker activity book with Moses in it, and I'm super pumped about it. Um, and then I got these for in the future as well, little Bible word hunts. There's uh, volume one and volume two. I think it's just a good thing for them to be able to do, I don't know, while I'm reading aloud or while we're listening to music or anything. Um, found a dinosaur book there, so clearly that was a necessity. Um, there are 24 pages and it's actually really nice, like uh, Flying Frog Publishing, but it does have the Dollar Tree thing on it, so anyway. Um, all kinds of different dinosaurs in there, Stegosaurus, um, Nidoceratops, ooh good, they even have Mosasaurus. Okay, fantastic. So we got all kinds of things to learn about. My almost four-year-old is obsessed with dinosaurs and the two-year-old is on his way to it. Then I got these uh, Paint with Water books. We had a Cookie Monster one before, it didn't look exactly like this, so this is a different one but they always need to be occupied when we do a human body unit um, I thought these would be something fun I don't know if they're gonna they're supposed to be sticky glow-in-the-dark eyeballs so I'm hoping that they will stay sticky if I leave them in the package um, if they don't I guess whatever it was a dollar but we'll see how that turns out I got this I was very excited that I found the armor all brand um, air fresheners there and I got lavender because I really like it when my kids fall asleep in the car because <laughs> then I don't have to try to make them stay in their beds uh, stocking stuffers I got some Jurassic band-aids dinosaurs everywhere my life is dinosaurs I'm pretty sure my mom was just kidding when we were standing there I noticed these and I was like, oh yeah, I wanted to get more of those, but I can't remember what they were for. And then my mom said something about um, making the kids clean the floor with them, like putting them on their feet. She's a genius. She never made me and my brother do that, but she is a genius. So um, these open right up and definitely like, I don't think an adult's foot is going to fit in there, but my kids' feet will definitely fit in there. So I'm excited. I got one for each of the big boys so that they, you know, can have one foot that's like actually on the floor and maybe not fall down, but this will be a nice endeavor to a clean house that I won't really have much to do with. Then I got some bubble bath for the boys. I don't normally like putting that kind of stuff with the color additives in the bath, but every once in a while, I think it's okay. Normally we don't have bubble bath here, or if I do get them some, it's clear. So I'm just gonna take a breath and trust that God is gonna take care of us. Um, then I got these charcoal facial wipes, um, just to see what they were like. There are 30 of them in here. and. I really wanted like the yes to tomatoes ones that everybody's hauling, yes to coconut, yes to everything. The only thing I found was yes to blueberries and they only had one pack left. So I snapped those up and those are almost gone now. Um, so I don't have a ton of them, but I'm really looking for them for like stocking stuffers for other people and like Christmas gifts and things. And I saw this, so I got it because I think it's gonna be really fun if we break these all out and put them on the kids. Um, wrists and ankles and have a little dance party in the living room so that's what that's for um, then the last things that I want to share okay so I have three things from five below I was very excited to find this I do have boys but I would like them to respect women <laughs> so I got this and also it's a little bit for me too because I think there will be a lot of people in here that I didn't know about and will look more into um, 
Of course, I found this for $5, and yeah, we're not leaving without a hardcover encyclopedia of dinosaurs. So, um, it's not alphabetical, which is the only complaint that I have about it, because it's just easier for me, somebody who's learning about dinosaurs, versus the three-year-old that already <laughs> knows everything about them. Uh, and you know, when he asks me where one is, it's whatever. I can use the index. So there is an index. And there's also a glossary in here, which is very nice too. Then I found this at Five Below before we went to Dollar Tree. I should have known to wait. I should not have paid $4 for this. However, it is way thicker. There are way more pages. And some of these go up to like 900. So like this will be a bear. Uh, nope, I lied. That's a, <laughs> that's a wolf. I just don't know. Um, where did I see a bear? Oh, right on the back here. That's a bear. That's what a bear looks like. I'm gonna homeschool my children and I can't even tell you what animals are. Okay, there's a frog or a toad. Yeah, we're working on it. Anyway, I found that. And then the last things that I got are two things from Amazon. We had points. We have the Amazon card. That is why. Um, so I found this layer puzzle. Again, very excited for our human body unit. So it has all of these right in the same puzzle in layers. So the skin, the muscles, the organs, and the skeletal system. So I'm really excited about that. I think that was like $20. Uh, I don't remember. I don't know because I spent points on it so then I just feel like whatever I want it and I'm not gonna focus on the fact that it's expensive and then I found this big book of beasts um, I saw that this was recommended by someone on Instagram I think I can't remember um, but it's just like really fun and uh, a little bit of fact okay there's actually a lot of fact but um, just the drawings are like engaging so I think that the kids will pay more attention they always want to look at the pictures anyway especially when I'm reading bedtime stories and it's not time to look at the pictures it's time to close your eyes okay so hippopotamuses why do hippos love the mud um, porcupines why are porcupines spiky porcupine never goes bald their home is called a den you know just like a really nice book um, and then things that you can find in there. I love that. These boys are super into looking for things. Um, okay, the very last thing that I forgot about from Dollar Tree are these cups. Um, you get 16 of them. I really wish that they had the blue ones and the purple ones and the green ones all mixed together instead of like having to buy them in separate packages. So I only got green because I don't need a pile of cups sitting around that we're not actually going to drink from but I got these because eventually we're turning our train table into a light table so that we don't have to spend hundreds of dollars so that's where we're at with that uh, these are just gonna be stacked up on the light table because they're translucent I think it'll be fun and right yeah <laughs> oh my gosh it's so good that I'm at the end of this because I can't even think okay so anyway thanks for watching